Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Glickman. I'm the president and CEO, and I've had the privilege of serving in this role for just over a year. It's my pleasure to open our 20th anniversary program by offering a snapshot of our present work and sharing what your support and 20 years of commitment and hard work have helped all of us to achieve. When a visitor walks into the Museum of Jewish Heritage at Living Memorial to the Holocaust, she is walking into an institution that represents the future of Holocaust education. As she's greeted at the Anne and Abe Oster welcome desk, she may choose to learn from an expert gallery educator, listen to an award-winning audio tour that's available in seven languages, or explore content-rich exhibitions at her own pace. The core exhibition takes her through Jewish life a century ago, the war against the Jews, and Jewish renewal. She learns from 800 artifacts and more than 2,000 photographs that illustrate Jewish history and highlight personal experience of global significance. In the core, our visitor comes to appreciate the importance of survivor testimony. The educational power and emotional, the educational value and emotional power of testimony is something that she will experience throughout the museum. In our current installation, New Dimensions in Testimony, created by USC Shoah Foundation, our visitor will have the opportunity to have a virtual conversation with Holocaust survivors Pincus Gutter and Eva Schloss. In an experience that is a first of its kind in New York, she will ask questions and lifelike projections of Eva and Pincus will answer her, communicating their experience across time and space. Tonight, we're fortunate to have Pincus with us, and I hope you will enjoy meeting him in person and then virtually upstairs. Our visitor may also search survivor testimonies in the re-envisioned and reimagined Morris and Fanny Pickman Keeping History Center, where tens of thousands of recordings will become available to her for the very first time. She will be able to stop and read and view the digitized material of the George and Adele Klein Foundation, artifacts representing 2,400 pieces of anti-Semitica that will give new life to research and study in the museum's Center for the Study of Anti-Semitism. Our visitor will then continue on to special installations and exhibitions that remember the lost children of Kloster Indersdorf, honor survivors who serve in the museum's Speakers Bureau and are presented and featured in Eyewitness, and in Operation Finale, present previously hidden artifacts that capture the trial, that feature the capture and trial of Adolf Eichmann. She will see the original bulletproof uh, booth in which Eichmann sat during his trial. At that point, a visitor may pause for reflection as she visits the Garden of Stones by Andy Goldsworthy, where trees were planted by Holocaust survivors and their family members in stone in 2003 representing the ways in which life has been persisted and has emerged from the most difficult circumstances. From there, we hope that our visitor will recognize that museum public programs and presentations by Holocaust survivors will deepen her understanding. If she's the descendant of survivors, perhaps she will inquire about heritage testimonies, a new program by the museum that is training second and third generation family members to tell the stories. If she's a teacher, maybe she will join the more than 24,000 educators who have participated in professional development here. Our visitor's experience and the fact that she will want to return will have been made possible by strong and dedicated community, including many of you in this room. I want to recognize the museum's excellent staff and gallery educators whose willingness to explore, experiment, and embrace changing times is helping us to pioneer new programs and continually enhance visitor experience. I'd like to extend our gratitude for the continued support of our Board of Trustees that understands and believes in our vital mission and continues to make our work possible every day. The achievements of this museum runs on the steadfast support of members, patrons, friends, and volunteers. I also want to recognize the contributions of founding director David Altshuler, and Director Emeritus David Marwell, whose scholarship and leadership defined the museum's crucial early growth. It's an honor to join this prestigious class of museum leaders. I invite you all to come back 
and have that in-depth experience I just explained 